Hello and welcome to The Whiskey File. This is the very first video for this channel, and it's something I've wanted to make for a while. I love whiskey, hence the name for the channel. It was also a running joke with one of my coworkers, as I had an empty filing cabinet, and one of my coworkers gave out gifts one Christmas of individual servings of Jack and Coke, and that's where I kept it. So what started my love for whiskey? Well, I am one of those rare American kids that actually started legitimately drinking when I was 21. Now granted, I had tried some stuff when I was younger with my parents, like I had a little bit of beer to taste, wine, and once had a drink of some Chivas Regal 12-year, something even to this day I won't try again. But when I was 21, I was in a bar in Chicago with some friends from my school. And they found out I had just turned 21, so they bought me a shot of Jameson. It was awful. I believe one of my other friends bought me a shot of tequila. That was also not great. I have no idea to this day what that tequila was, but not a fan. But I had some mediocre beer that night and had an old-fashioned up on the 93rd floor of the John Hancock Tower, which was quite pleasant and a brief story for another time. Fast forward several months and I was in Edinburgh, at the tail end of a short trip that took me from Paris through London and concluding in Edinburgh. I was wandering through the city and was making my way up to the castle at the center of town. It's a long avenue with a bunch of tourist traps and one caught my attention. A nice man with a good Scottish accent said for 10 pounds I could go into the museum, learn about the history and the making of scotch and at the end, have a tasting. And for 20 pounds, I could get the same thing, but I get four additional tastings. So I took him up on the ladder as I came back down from the castle, and it was fascinating to learn about the history and process. After that, we walked through their massive collection of over 3,000 bottles, and then came to the tasting room where I tried a blended scotch for the first time. It's actually recommended to have a blended scotch here, as each of the other four tastings in the main bar area are only from the single malts that they have uh, from the four major regions of Scotland. Now, I enjoyed each one and cannot recommend enough this museum. And while they're not a sponsor, the link below is to their website and location if you're ever in Edinburgh. Highly recommend it. Now, I don't remember all of what I tried, but I remember my favorite being an Islay Scotch, which turned out to be the Lafrage Tenure. I greatly enjoyed talking with the bartender as he told me about each one and offered the Lafrage Triple Wood as a sixth bonus tasting, given my liking for the tenure. It was heavenly. And from that day, I was hooked. So that's my brief story about how I fell in love with scotch and whiskey in general. I in no way claim to be an expert, but I genuinely enjoy it and will gladly share my opinions and would love to hear yours in the comments below. I'm always open to try something new, and I'm open to all suggestions except for Chivas Regal 12 year. Just, eh, just no. Not for me. Going forward, I'm going to try and keep these videos short, at most 5 minutes each week, though some will be shorter, on something whiskey related. Some weeks it'll be history or informative, other weeks it'll be tastings or recommendations. So sit back, relax, pour yourself a glass, as we go through the whiskey file. Cheers.